first slime, slime video. video. So we're gonna make fluffy slime, and Emma has never made it before. She tried, but she said it didn't work. It didn't work when I so tried. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys and her Yay. how to make this slime. It's, I'm so excited. I, I love slime. I'm obsessed right now, like everyone else, pretty much. Um, so let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put our glue into the bowls. For me, I don't do specific measurements. I just do however much I want because it doesn't matter. You just need the same amount of shaving cream. So go first, because I want to see how much you're doing. Okay, so I have this big gallon of glue. Most people do about four ounces of glue, which I think is like half a cup. But I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna kind of do it till like the bottom of the bowl is covered. That's kind of like my thing. Might do a little less because the bottom of this bowl is really big. So that was a lot actually. Okay. Why the Okay. I don't know how much to put so in So just kind of do it to like, I'll tell you when to stop. I'll hold the bowl for you. Just Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how much to do. Okay, that's probably Is that good. probably good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I should probably touch this side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we should put the lid on. <laughs> We've already had spills. We've already had the spills. Bowl first. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is put the shaving cream in. And you're going to want to do about the same amount of shaving cream as you did glue. So just, wow. Okay. okay. And it depends on how fluffy. If you want it really fluffy, then you can do like a lot of shaving cream. Oh, I want it really fluffy. Yeah, but if then if you I don't but know how much to do. Oh it, yeah, you kinda gotta do it like diagonal. Like, Why is it not working? Like, so do it kinda like that. Ah, there we go. Wow. Fluffy's good at this. I'm not. How much do I need to put in here? Like a lot? How much do you want? I don't know how much to put in. Is this out? Is that why? It's not out. Here, you can finish it. I don't know how much to put in. See, I'm bad at this already. I want it Just tell me what it's at. Sure, that's good. Okay. I don't know how much to put in. Okay, <laughs> now we are going to put our food coloring in and mix it. So, okay, we have lots plenty, of lots of colors. I am gonna make mine green because green's my favorite color. I'm probably gonna make mine blue. Is this like drippy droppy? It is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. I so this is the green oh, I'm choosing. It's purple. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put in um however dark you want it. I'm gonna put in about five drops and see how good that is. So one, two. Wait, then we just mix it five. afterwards? Yeah, you put the food coloring in and then you can mix it all at one time. Oh wow, I just put in three. You could also put it in after you make it, but it's easier to put it in before, I think. Yeah, I think so that was five, so and then just mix it all up until it's pretty evenly. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of what's going on here, what it should look like. It should just be a kind of thick glue, and then this is kind of a light green, so I'm gonna add more drops. That's what I said, however dark you want it. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. Oh, I, like that. I might add one more. So, right now I'm gonna add about 10 drops. Okay, we're back. So pretty much you're just gonna wanna make it so that it's really smooth and all the white's gone. Um, and the next thing you're gonna want to do is put a cup of water um, into a glass cup and microwave it for 30 seconds to make it warm. Then we're gonna take a teaspoon of borax powder and put it into it. Okay, sorry about that guys. So we're gonna take a teaspoon Aha, of borax from here. So I'm gonna flip this around, guys. And put it into the water and mix it around. So. Just don't want it to spill everywhere, so slow. No. Take it out, okay, okay. And then just dump it in there. And, and mix it, and I'll grab a towel so I can dry it and then mix it. Because our other teaspoon <coughs> measuring were dirty from me previously making slime. I realized that this thing is sort of in my cell. Oh, no. Okay. It just got Yep. There we go. Gotta be careful. I tried to, as you can see, open this, but it didn't work, and I was like, forget it. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. So now what you're gonna wanna do is slowly, a little bit at a time, 
pour it in there and mix like it around. How much? Um, just not a lot because if you do a lot at once, it can ruin your slime and you'd have to start over. Oh, so as you can see, I poured a little bit in and it's already like coming together as slime. Oh, it's working! Okay, so you just keep adding a little bit at a time until it's to the consistency that you want it. Most people take it out and knead it at a point. I preferably like to keep the mess down and just keep mixing it and mixing it. So as you can see, this is turning out really well. So I need more. Yeah, you just keep adding little bits at a time. You're probably, you're not gonna use this whole thing of borax, but it's just a good measurement to get borax diluted correctly into it and working. How does it stop being sticky? It'll get there, and when you start touching it more too, it'll just see, mine's already like on the spoon coming off. Is that good? Is it like working well? Yeah, it's, it's yours are going great. You just need, you just need more borax in it. Okay. And you, you can knead it, um, put more borax into it when you need it. Um, like with your hands knead it, not like you need borax. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, you need borax. Okay, so mine's looking pretty good here. I'm gonna do just a little bit more borax. Mine looks like it's pretty much. Oh, I got the splash of that. How did that? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it until it just doesn't stick to the bowl anymore. My bowl looks like it's having a problem. Okay, it's guys. Still all over it. So I need more. Wait, is that? Well, you can always like. Put it oh, yeah. You can just kinda... Wait, it's actually not that bad. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna take mine out and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Wait, this it's is really like... boraxy. So I'm gonna. Dry. Is it gonna stick but, to the tablecloth? Sorry, I'm like. It's a little sticky, but it should like come off. It should stick back on. And it's really fluffy, as you can see from the shaving cream. And we're gonna add lotion in just a second to make it stretchier. Is this. Okay, wait, hold on. And uh, what I usually do, if it's sticky like that, you can just put it on, and then I like stick my fingers into my borax tub, and then touch it with my finger so that when I touch it, I'm playing with it and putting borax into it at the same time. That's a little tip I use. Oh, sweet. And you can just put borax into it until it's like not sticky. Like, this isn't sticky Mine's at all like anymore. Sort of sticky. And it's a good big batch. Yeah, you made a lot. Actually, mine made a lot too. Yeah. Okay, so how did you like it, Emma? Oh, I like this one. It worked a lot better than my original one did. So now, as you can see, it's not very stretchy, so that's when lotion comes in. Lotion, I can't really tell you why, but it makes it stretchier. So, I'll show you up close. You just kind of... Wait, how much do you... Put about like a tablespoon of lotion onto it, and then just kind of knead it into it. And this is the same thing if you put food coloring in after you make it, then you just knead it in. But. I sort of want mine a little darker. Wait, can I put food coloring in? Yeah, you can put more food coloring in at any time you want it. So mine's already getting stretchier. I'm so bad at making slime. Sometimes it can make it a little like sticky, sticky but once you get it mixed in, then it's, it goes away again. And you can always add more borax, as I said before. And you can just keep adding more and more. I, you can use any type of lotion for this. This is um, just hand lotion. It's a ultra healing lotion. But I've also used Bath and Body Works lotion and any type of lotion works. You can also add, if you want it fluffier when you're done and you decide it's not as fluffy, you can add more shaving cream oh, at the end what? too. Yeah, you can, can add more shaving cream? Yeah, I just kind of put what's on there. I kind of want a little. Wait, can I have a little more? Into it and then, yeah. And then just mush, massage it in as I said before. As you can see, it's kind of soft. Why am I putting, okay, I'm doing that much. <laughs> oh, I should have put coloring. I'm just making this like, this could be a potential disaster, so you might have to save me. Okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, I might have to turn it over to you. So comment below if this works for you guys, and also comment what other types of slimes you want to see it.
tutorials for. Because I will literally do, I've pretty much made like all types of slimes, so. I haven't really made it yet, so this is my um, time to experiment with you because you know what so you're you doing. Guys see how much stretchier it made it, the lotion? Look how stretchy that is now. Oh. And you just keep adding more of whatever Ooh. you want. There's never really a time that you can't add more stuff. Even like days after, if you're like, oh, this is too sticky, you can add contact solution or Staphylo or Borax to it. Um, and if you decide like the fluff goes out, which that hasn't happened to me, you can add more shading cream to it. But this is just really fun to play with, like whenever you're bored and just stress relieving. So. This is fluffy slime. Oh, okay, I want more lotion. So I work, very much. this was Emma's first time making it and it worked for her. It worked. This is my recipe that I use to make fluffy slime. There's lots of different types of re recipes. This is just a normal, easy recipe. And also kind of get like the extra out of the bowl that kind of gets stuck there. Yes, this is working very well. In a second, we'll show you the slime down here and do like some ASMR. It's a non-sticky slime though, like See my hand's good? I hold it there. My hand's still good. The only reason mine is sticky is because I haven't finished it So yet. this is like a really good batch of fluff slime. I really like this one. I think I added a lot of shaving cream and that's why it's so fluffy and that's why I like it so much. So I can add even more? You can add as much as you want. Can so I sometimes it works better if you like massage it onto oh, it first. Oh, that was a lot. So like I just did there, I put the lotion on and then I just kind of Spread it out so you can't see it anymore, and then just kind of like. <laughs> that made it really weird too. It makes fun noises too. It feels smoother too with the lotion. Ooh, there. I put a lot in. Sorry, I've been working on this hard because it got messed up. Stretch your wheel. Ooh, I like this. I need more lotion though. I want mine really stretchy. This is how mine turned out. Uh, it's focusing on Kelsey's face. Mine turned oh, out. I'm Mine turned out really stretchy. Mine is still sort of sticky, as you can see by yeah, my you, hands. You just might want to add more borax. Too. So I should add some more borax, but I want it more lotion. I want it more stretchy, so I'm gonna put yeah. even more lotion in it, and then I can fix it. This is just an easy, simple tutorial that hopefully is helpful. Um, so trivia time. What is your favorite type of slime? So my favorite. So Emma, this is. Pretty much the only time kind of made. Yeah. So so far, so far, fluffy slime is my favorite. But my favorite. That's a really hard question because I've made so many types of slime, and like every time I make it, I'm like, oh, this is so good. This is my new favorite. Um, I'm probably gonna have to say. Because mm, I've decided, I'm gonna say milky slime, fluffy slime, crystal jelly slime. And that's a lot, but yeah. Three slimes. <laughs> but I've made lots of other slimes too, but I'm gonna go with that. So, comment below your, your favorite type of slime, obviously. The poll question is actually gonna be, do you like slime? Yes, no, I've never made it. It's gonna be up there, or up there. I think it's up there. If you say no, or I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry, so please don't say no. <laughs> so, obviously, we say yes. Yes, I love slime. I need to start, Learning from Kelsey how to make it because I'm not I good. I feel like a slime expert now, but then there's people who made it much more than me, and I'm like, I love slime so much. Okay, guys, <laughs> so please like this video, Perfect. comment below your favorite type of slime, and what other slimes you want to see us do, and other videos in general. And please subscribe. Subscribe. Um, now we're gonna do some ASMR. Blooper, so here we go.
Yeah, we should switch places. Oh! 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 <laughs> the tablecloth plotted off. <laughs> Did it? Oh my goodness, I'm so no, glad. it went off the... Shh! <laughs> ah, Kelsey! Hey, at least we are filming. No, we are we really good. filming. I don't know how much you need. Oh. They caught it all, I'm so happy. That was amazing. That was like, I'm so glad I decided to make all of it go on this end. It's all just in this like. Yeah, that was a smart decision. Ball and this tablecloth down here. And a water, oh wait, there is some on the carpet over here. Oh no, 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 shh, there's none. This poor video. This better be a blooper. Oh no, I'm putting this in. This whole thing, yes. I saw the Borax. <laughs> Fall over and I was like, oh no. Oh wait. Okay, I'll just. Oh. <laughs> um, and. Oh, that's so cute. 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 Oh,